Omar from Cuba in this race has a lot of speed over the 100 metres, so look for her to go out like a bit of a bullet. Shen in one, Duran three, Baturchuk five, Governo in seven. So we're away at the first time of asking. Duran breezing out, Baturchuk also, and Baturchuk has already overtaken Governo. Remember, Alexei Riemin is represented Ukraine and the IAAF circuit. It is between these two, certainly. Duran of Cuba and Baturchuk of Ukraine who's always going to be the main battle for gold, and that's become absolutely clear, 150 into this race. But Turkchuk just holding around at the moment, but certainly the commentary alongside from Riemian will tell it how close Duran is. Duran so fast in winning that semi-final yesterday in the championship record time, and hitting the front as they straighten up the final bend. The lead being held by Duran of Cuba, but Turkchuk of Ukraine trying to fight back, trying to get the gold here, but it's looking like it's going to Cuba. Duran has done everything right up to this stage. It's Amara Duran for Cuba, and it's gold fantastically. She's released by a guide and let go. 53.08 is sensational. That's a world record. Batonchuk in second place, but Duran absolutely sensational. 53.05. That's been rounded down to, and she has smashed the 11-year-old world record of Asi El Anuni, which lasted for 11 years. She did do everything absolutely right. A magnificent performance, a great display, and a world record and a world champion for Cuba. Well, last week it was the boxing world championships here in Cuba. Don't tend to do terribly badly in that either. And now they have a new athletic name to be absolutely proud of. The T12 world champion, Omara Duran. And she did have it get off to an absolute flyer. She did get off to a good start, ran a very controlled race and really came into her own in the home straight. She held her form very well compared to the other athletes. And that's where, she, where her strength lied, I think. And she was released very, very early by a guy who knew at that stage that Yunil Kindle and that victory was hers. Let her go with around, uh, what, 10 metres to go. Durand often elects to run the 100 metre over the shorter distances without a guide, so the, and then electing to have the guide when she needs to go around the bend because it is more difficult for the blind athletes. A magnificent triumph, a new world record of the women's 400 metres T12 for Amara Duran, 53.05, but Turchuk second, a lifetime best all the same, almost two seconds down, 54.92, and a new African record for Milso Governo in third place.